CompTIA A Plus Core 2, 220-1102, Practice Exam. Questions 71 through 75. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 71. A cybercrimes case collapses in court due to mishandling of evidence by the investigating agency. Which of the following was most likely violated during the investigative process? The answer is C. Chain of custody. The chain of custody refers to the documented chronological record of who has handled the evidence, when it was collected, where it was stored, and any changes made to it during the investigation process. Maintaining a proper chain of custody is crucial in legal proceedings to ensure the integrity and admissibility of evidence in court. If there are any gaps or discrepancies in the chain of custody, it can undermine the credibility of the evidence and potentially lead to its exclusion from the case, as seen in the scenario provided. Additionally, I hope you have noticed this is not the first time I have asked a question about chain of custody. If I ask a question about any topic multiple times, that is probably because there is a higher probability of this topic showing up when you take the official certification exam. Question 72. Following a series of sophisticated phishing attacks targeting high-level executives in the company, a technician aims to bolster the organization's defenses against such threats. Which measure should the technician focus on implementing to enhance the company's security posture? The answer is D. Institute Anti-Phishing Training. Anti-phishing training is the best option for mitigating phishing attacks. While technical defenses like firewalls, antivirus software, and intrusion detection systems are crucial, they may not address the human vulnerability exploited in phishing attacks. Anti-phishing training educates employees to recognize and avoid such threats, making it the most effective solution for bolstering security in this scenario. Question 73. A user wants to adjust the appearance of their desktop wallpaper on their Windows 10 computer. Which Windows 10 setting should the technician recommend they use to make this customization? The answer is B. Personalization. In Windows 10, the personalization settings allow users to customize various aspects of their computer's appearance, including the desktop background or wallpaper. Within the personalization settings, users can choose from a variety of pre-installed wallpapers or set their own custom image as the desktop background. Additionally, users can adjust other visual elements such as colors, themes, and lock screen backgrounds. Question 74. A user contacts the help desk to report that their Windows 10 workstation is infected with malicious software. Which built-in Windows security feature should the help desk technician employ to scan for and potentially remove the malicious software? The answer is A. Virus and Threat Protection. The Virus and Threat Protection component within Windows Security provides real-time scanning and protection against viruses, malware, and other malicious software. It includes features such as quick scans, full scans, and offline scans to detect and remove threats from the system. When a user reports an infected workstation, the help desk technician should utilize the virus and threat protection feature to perform a thorough scan of the system and potentially remove the malicious software. Question 75. Upon reviewing network logs, a systems administrator observes a significant increase in outbound network traffic from a workstation in the office. To identify the root cause of this unusual activity, the administrator needs to determine which processes on the workstation are responsible for connecting to the internet. Which tool should the administrator utilize for this investigation? The answer is A. Resource Monitor. The Windows Resource Monitor utility provides real-time monitoring of various system resources, including network activity. By navigating to the Network tab within Resource Monitor, the administrator can promptly identify the processes on the workstation that are initiating connections to the Internet. 
Additionally, they can ascertain the amount of data being sent or received by each connection. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.